In her poem, Amazing Peace, Maya Angelou wrote that Christmas enters, streaming lights of joy, ringing bells of hope. Psychiatrists say that holiday lights do add cheer to people who are struggling in the darkness. And our communities did not fail with lighted tractor parades and lighting of the menorah. Holiday hope was all around. In Rupert, residents gathered on the green at the Sheldon store where they are turning it into a community center and they gathered to light luminaries. Luminaries date back to as early as 1500s as a way for the faithful to light a path to their churches to symbolize lighting a path for Mary and Joseph. Luminaries actually means little bonfires. Oh, I love how, like, when you're driving on the road, you can see all the lights. It's really pretty. The luminaries also symbolize something else to the residents of Rupert. In a small town, A, with no social infrastructure, you don't meet people. So new people move to town and they don't meet their neighbors. This has facilitated a lot of that. And because this began about the time we voted for school choice, a lot of new young families were moving into town. And so with, with new neighbors, they had a way to meet, their, meet people who already lived here. At the Fiddleheads Farm and Forest School in Manchester, owner Jessica Rice helps preschoolers share the light of the holidays. Um, so we talk about like, what are the ways that we see light in our lives, um, you know, do you have a Christmas tree in your house? Do you light the menorah? Do you have candles in your windows? Like Another tradition that Jessica is introducing the children to is called the Winter Spiral Walk, made famous by the Waldorf schools, in which children think about the goodness that they could add to the world as they walk around the spiral and they light their candles. I just made a cute little list over here. About things that make us feel warm and bright in the dark. Special blankies, chocolate and marshmallows, um, yummy food. We do an empathy practice at preschool called caring feelings. The warm, loving feeling and just encourage them to think about that while they're going into the spiral and then uh, they light their candle. Part of the winter spiral is to have a child walk into the spiral by themselves. It's very poetic, I think, and beautiful to to symbolize walking into the center of darkness by yourself and finding the light and like bringing a light and back out into the world. That's it's I mean, it's really beautiful. The children spend about two weeks getting ready for the winter spiral, collecting evergreen and learning what it means to share the light of care and compassion with the world. And on the night of the walk, the lights are ready to shine as the preschoolers come with excitement, ready to enter into the winter spiral. Once in the center, the child's lantern is lit. And as they prepare to walk out of the circle, they are invited to place their lantern somewhere along the path so that other children would have their light to light the way. At the end of the night, Jessica gathers the children together and she reads a poem called The Shortest Day by Susan Cooper. As promise wakens in the sleeping land, they carol, feast, and give thanks and dearly love their friends, and hope for peace. And now, so do we, here, now, this year, and every year.